Good morning, everybody. It's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. We're working in the art journal this morning. Just listen to that rain. It sounds so good. This is my favorite time when it's like this. It's rainy. I just feel like there's not a care in the world. I come out here and play. Um, this is the art journal with the challenging pages. It's got a lot of magazine pages. And I've put a layer of gesso on this. It looked like it was gonna bead up a little bit. I started drying it, uh, brushed off a little bit of the excess. Now I'm gonna put a layer of white paint. We're just gonna see what happens. I just realized that I had not put any paper under this journal. Uh, I don't want to make a mess on this fabric. I'm not going to try to move everything at one time. We're just going to put some paper under here so that we don't mess up this beautiful fabric underneath. Okay, so now we're adding a really thin layer of white acrylic paint. I'm not going to worry too much about all of this becoming cured and completely dry because when I'm done with this, I'm just going to sit this journal up where it can stay open because I'm moving on to different things, but I love to give myself time every day for art or journaling or just some sort of creative outlet. It's a really good time to think about things, um, to prioritize some things, just, you know, mentally go through my list of to-do things and my to-do items and say, okay, this is something you want to do, but it can really wait until tomorrow. Um, and these are things that have to be done today. So don't let those slide. I'm going to take, this is actually the vanilla extract. I know you all remember that from the Dollar Tree Challenge. Let's spray this paint and see if we can't get an aged look. Definitely gonna have to dry this a little bit. And while this is drying, I'm gonna come in with a few drops of alcohol ink. This is called Butterscotch. It is one of my favorites. I'm almost out. I've gotta get some soon. It seems to me like gesso and white paint just soak up the color. Uh, the, the white paint seems to be taking it a little bit better. Sometimes gesso, it just, you know, it's really a primer, like for canvases and stuff. You can definitely um, do things with it. It's different than a, like a gel medium. And I'm still learning about all of this, but I'm gonna see if this coffee Oh, that's so thick. Not crazy about that color. See, it just kind of muddies it up. So let's just, but that's kind of neat because we, we want this page to have some, some age to it. Like we're trying to age it a little bit. It's not completely dry, but I know I want some color on here. So we're gonna put in some pink. Jennifer, I'm so sorry and just kind of, we're not gonna be real careful with this. You know, we're just getting a messy background right now. Sometimes I just roll the brush a little bit randomly like that. And I want some black in here, so let me find, let's see if I have something dark. get that wet so it starts to break down there we go because these are they're almost like little watercolor crayons and you can even take your left hand and like pretend you're writing something I'm gonna wipe this off a little bit let's just use the tie that goes around the journal be really pretty. For 
there's a lot of uh, water on this page. So I'm just gonna do this to speed up the process of drying. I like the way that's leaving the texture of the paper towel. Okay, I've dried this page, this spread. I've dried it off some, and I went ahead and glued a few magazine pages together because they're really flimsy. I didn't have anything on the back of this, and none of these pages contained anything that I was just, you know, like crazy about and not wanting to cover up. So I did go ahead and glue some pages together, and I don't know how I go through so much glue, but it seems like I'm down to just uh, barely anything again. I do have, that's got a little bit in it. Um, my Mod Podge is almost empty. I got to get more of that. Um, I took a break to print something on vellum that I want to put in here. Um, it's easy to forget some of the different tricks, things that we can use in our journals to make them pretty. I love that you can see through vellum. You can see the things on the background, and I love that we can see the scribbling in the back. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually put a little bit more scribbling in. Not too much. We don't want it to feel, you know, contrived, but I do think I could use just a little bit more. Like maybe that. I like that. And let's just circle that stain right there. Let's put a little bit more of this. It's no wonder that I go through so much alcohol ink. I love it. I think that's so beautiful. And that, again, that's butterscotch. That, I think it's my very favorite. I got a little bit on here. I didn't mean to. That's okay though, because I had already started tearing. I want kind of a torn edge on this. Vellum is funny. When it gets wet, it tends to wrinkle. I don't know that I really want that. With this page, I'm not going to be overly careful and worried, but um, I think I will dry the page just a little bit more, and then we're going to put this on the page. I think I'm going to put it into place by um, just hand stitching. So I'm going to find a needle here that I can use, and I've got this spool of black upholstery thread. So let's pull off a pretty good length of that. And we're not gonna do anything fancy. I am just going to start going in and out with some stitches and I'm not gonna worry about making tiny little neat stitches. We want this to be a bit junky and primitive. This is like being back in kindergarten and doing the little lace-up cards, except we're just kind of having to figure out the holes as we go. It's kind of a, um, just a, a mindless sort of fun, and that's exactly what an art journal should be, in my opinion. I mean, you can get serious with them, like, you know, the practice that we all do where you're trying to improve on a certain area, like I really want to get better at faces, but it should never feel scary, like you're afraid to do anything. It, uh, well, I think the older you get, the more this is true, at least for me. I used to be so afraid to cut into a piece of fabric or tear a piece of paper, you know, or cut into an expensive piece of paper. It's paper and it's fabric. Um, it can be replaced. And that's until you crack open that, until you release that, that fear or, you know, it's like breaking a seal on a new box or opening a package. Until you do it, you're not gonna see what's there. And that's where growth comes from, just trying things and not being afraid. I feel like art helped to keep me sane during a really, really hard time in my life. Well, I know it did. And it allowed me to grow as a person, develop some new thoughts about, you know, self-confidence and staying in your lane and just like what other people think of me is none of my business. I love that 
and uh, most people are very encouraging, but if, if you need to do some sort of art and please don't get caught up in feelings like it's not good enough, I can't show this to anybody. You don't have to show it to anybody, but what I mean is that if something is making you feel like you're not good enough, please forge ahead with your art and grow at your pace and in your space. Grow at your pace and in your space. I love that. So we've got this down. Um, I wanna put some words on here. And I am hoping with all of these, I'm hoping that I've got enough letters to spell what I want to. I think I do. We'll figure it out even if I have to cut some big letters out of a book page. My little grandson just turned a year old and he had his little birthday party yesterday. And oh my goodness, he had his own cake and he tore into that thing. But recently, he's had some of the cutest little outfits on. Well, he always does. I guess the thing now is that he's getting big enough to crawl and stand up and try to walk. He pulls up, and I, he's going to be walking soon. But he had on this little shirt that said, Play Big. And I think we can all take a lesson from that. So I'm going to put the words Play Big on here. Absolutely love it. I mean, these letters are just amazing. Is there anything Tim Holtz makes that's not absolutely fabulous? If there is, I haven't found it yet. I love everything I've bought that was Tim Holtz. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's kind of subtle, but I like it. What we could do to enhance that is come back with a piece of this metal. It's sort of like a ribbon with the holes in it. Let's get just a little bit of this Mediterranean blue. We're not really even, I didn't give a whole lot of thought to where I put this on the page actually. So don't overthink anything, just have fun. Yep, I love that. And let's put a little bit here and up here. Okay, let's just lay this down right here. I think as we glue the letters over the top of this, it's gonna hold it in place. And I gotta get myself some more glue. So let's just get a little bit of pink paint on these and maybe even Splash a little bit. I think that helps. I really do. I don't want this video to get too long, so I turned the camera off for a little bit. From where I left off, I went ahead and grunged up the page. When you have bits of paint left over, you can take a jar and make rings. I took a Sharpie and drew around these letters to give it just a little bit more depth. We had such a good thought to come out of this, grow at your pace and in your space, that I made just a grungy tag and put that on the page. You know, we covered up our X's under there, so we could just make some more on there. Just go wild. Put whatever you want to on here. There's more alcohol ink. I did go crazy and add some alcohol ink to this corner, and I love it. I love how it kind of just um, pasted it to the page there. There's a little there and it ran through the hole where the thread went through and you can kind of see where it went under the paper. I wonder if you can see that. Splattering some uh, pink paint on these helped to tie the colors of the letter into the page and I've been playing with some wax seals and I've had so much fun with that. So I think I'm gonna stick one of these just right at the bottom of that. It's a little bit different color, but I love this page and I may come back and add more to all of these pages. Don't be afraid to add scribbling, tags, ink, stamps, fabric. You know, this fabric, it, it kinda, maybe it hides a little bit, but it's there, we know that it's there. Look, and you can just keep adding stain. Do whatever you want to. Now we can really see the fabric, but it just adds more layers. I hope you've enjoyed this art page. Thank you so much for hanging out. Remember to subscribe if you like the content and please give it a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel, anybody's channel, anybody who's on YouTube. Um, just 
interact. That's awesome. And I'm so grateful to have all of you here. I will be back really soon. Bye for now.